Welcome to Slow Home Studio. Too many people live in badly designed houses and we want to change that. December has been Dining Room Month and we've been looking at the design of good dining spaces over the last four episodes and in this last one we're going to look at the detailing behind our case study project. Yeah, detailing is critical because there's a lot you can do to ground and lock the table into position through how you do some details around the dining space itself. That's right. So here is our, our project. And um, we've talked a fair bit about the, about the ochre wall with the, with the painting on it being the focal point that aligns the table in the space. And what we want to do is talk about this back portion here, both the, the, uh, the wall itself as well as this niche on the other side. Yeah, so we thought we would look at our actual computer model because it gives you kind of a better view of what we were doing. And this is a really uh, uh, good trick here, what we did, is what we, did, we created a three-dimensional object um, out of drywall that you then walk around to the front entry. And on the back side of this object is actually the closet for the front door, so it gives it a bit of depth. And we've painted this on all the sides in that ochre color to make it stand out as an object in the space. And on that, we have centered the table, and then the artwork is centered on that wall. So it really, really locks the table into alignment with this, uh, with this object here. Right, and just to expand on that a little bit, imagine for a minute if we didn't have that niche, and if this had just gone across, to there as the ochre wall. What that would have done is it would have, first of all, it would just be a wall like any other. It wouldn't be an object wall, which is what we call it, but it would also have moved the, uh, the artwork about a foot and a half over in that direction, which would have pushed the table too close to that window. So really, we wanted to use this niche as a buffer to do that. And here you can see it even, even more and how that that box that we created is a closet there for the front entry, which is right, right there. And then it also needed to extend. So this is outside of the house right here. And we have a little detail at that front entry in order to be able to pull that along. Yeah, it's interesting because what it does is it forces the centering of the table more to the center of the house. And the other critical point is that we've wrapped that white paint color around and to the back edge of that niche. And that niche is another critical detail in this dining space because what that is, is that's a built-in piece of storage. It's actually a buffet unit with some dish storage below. And then it's got a stone top so we can put something hot on that as a servery. And what that does is it eliminates the need for any other dish storage furniture in the space. Because if we didn't have that, the tendency would be to place something either in front of the wall, which would shift the centering of the table again, or in front of the glass, which is not good. And then the last detail, we actually, you'll notice in the, in the photographs, we do not have a light fixture, a chandelier, or, or anything over top of the table. What we did instead is put that that fixture over in the niche. We thought that it would be a nice thing to have against that white backdrop and it would be a way of providing some light in that corner of the room. So that's how we detailed our dining space in our newly built house. Uh, in the next episode in January, we're going to be- 2013. 2013, we're going to be looking at kitchen design. See you then.